Hey everybody, welcome back to the Haven Family Farm. Today's video, I wanna share with you something very interesting I found while I was trailer shopping. So I've been looking for a uh, slightly bigger trailer than my, I've got my Peckway over there. That's an 18 foot, 12,000 GVW trailer. It's a tilt deck for those of you who are familiar with the channel. You've seen that. If you're not familiar with the channel, the whole deck, it's a power up and power down. It's not a gravity. Um, Peckway builds good trailers, at least they used to. And, uh, but we needed something a little bit longer and a little bit heavier. So I was out doing some trailer shopping the last couple of days and I ended up finding one, but it kind of caught me off guard while I was shopping because I'd never heard of the brand before and I had to actually sit there in the dealer slot and get on my phone and uh, get on the old interwebs there and look up and see what the heck it was. And I was quite shocked to find out uh, what this branded trailer was. So let me turn you around and we're going to show you what we bought because we bought one and uh, then we'll talk a little bit about it. So here it is. This is a 20 foot, uh, 14,000 GVW trailer. Just a kind of a plain regular equipment trailer. Um, I guess they call it a, a heavy duty model. It has the uh, extra frame uh, underneath it there. And uh, has a 17 foot flat deck, three foot dove, and of course the ramps in the back, LED lights, all that stuff. Um, a lot of nice tie downs and whatnot has a tray which i thought uh, at least in pennsylvania you weren't allowed to use a tray you had to have a toolbox like to go down the road but still handy this i like it has a built-in uh, spot there for a spare tire which i do have one of those but uh, so here's the brand of trailer uh, it's an orange line trailer so leave in the comments down below right now if you have heard of an orange line trailer because i did not until yesterday so uh, let me show you what I found when I researched orange line, orange line trailers. So there you go. It is a Kubota trailer. I bought a Kubota trailer. And uh, not because I'm a Kubota fanboy, but because it was the only trailer I could find with the specs that I wanted. And uh, just to be clear, so Kubota doesn't build the trailers. They partnered with Big Tex, and you can actually see right here, Big Tex. It's basically a Big Tex trailer with a orange line decal on it um, for Kubota. The neat thing though, if you buy one of these that's an orange line as opposed to like a Big Tex, is you can get uh, special financing through Kubota on the trailer. Um, so you may get better rates, or if you happen to be buying a tractor or something, get kind of a package deal with it. Um, you can finance it through Kubota and it just makes it a little bit easier. So no, this is not a sponsored video. Kubota has probably never seen my channel and they're never gonna sponsor me because it's too small. So let's just get that out of the way real quick. I paid full price for this. So it was, like I said, uh, the closest I could find to what I wanted, uh, looking at the different manufacturers. Basically, one of the most important things to me was the clearance between the fenders. So this is advertised as an 83 wide. There's actually 83 and a half inches uh, between these fenders here. And that was super important for me because our compact tractor that I use on some projects and haul around, we have the rear wheels set real wide for being able to clear plastic rows where we plant our pumpkins. So that makes the tractor really wide and I don't wanna be constantly, if I need to haul the trailer or the tractor, I don't wanna be moving the tires in and moving them out and doing all that because they're big industrial tires and they are completely loaded. So they're really heavy. So that's not an option. So that was the first requirement I had uh, looking for a trailer besides the 20 foot and 14,000 GVW. So I had found a trailer that I liked. It was a load trail trailer and it had what they call the uh, max ramps on it. So 
the ramps would fold down flat and then you'd have basically they'd turn into the deck in the back so you'd have a full 20 foot flat deck and i thought that was pretty cool until i went and looked at the trailer and the way it's designed um those ramps don't really come down good like to touch the ground so when you put weight on the back it would have lifted up on the front of the trailer quite a bit i didn't like that and i also didn't like on those models that those ramps came down um you know somewhere in this neighborhood and then the fender immediately started so you did not have this like two foot of deck behind the fenders so it was a weird design and trying to position equipment on it was going to be kind of difficult because you did not have much uh, trailer space behind the uh, tires. So I didn't really like that and I thought for sure I was going to buy it, but I didn't. So um, so anyway, I, I went to a dealership that I deal with and they sell trailers. They actually had Peckway trailers there and uh, boy was... If anybody's seen I'm sorry if there's any wind noise on this it's cold and blustery it's northeastern Pennsylvania and that's the way it is um, if anybody's seen any of the Peckway trailers that have come out this year you're probably shaking your head like me and I it's a great company that's been a great trailer I've had another Peckway trailer in the past but they really their paint and everything they they just made a mess out of those trailers and I sure hope they get those issues corrected um but uh so we didn't buy one of those but overall um I'm, I'm happy with this trailer we're i haven't towed anything with it done anything with it so i'll keep you guys posted on um how i like it one thing that i've noticed on a lot of new trailers they have these demco easy couplers this is actually a piece of plastic here i'm not sure how much i'm gonna like that uh if i don't like it i mean it's easy there's you know two bolts you can take the coupler out and put a new one in no big deal so i'm not sure how i'm gonna like that yet i do like the fact that the jack on this one is forward uh on the load trail it was all the way back here and for me if i have the compact tractor with some sort of attachment on there it gives you a little bit of room because if you have to pick the bucket up and tilt it straight up and down over the jack you can buy yourself like another two feet of space there. I used to do that years ago when I started. All I had was an 18 foot trailer. I was constantly setting the bucket uh, down over the tongue of the trailer because I didn't have enough deck space. So if the jack was back there, it would be harder to do that without worrying about damaging the jack. So I did like that. Um, like I said, a lot of D rings, they give you little steps here to uh, kind of step up onto the trailer. The ramps aren't real heavy, which is a plus. Uh, my other trailer over there is a 25,000 GVW. I don't know if you can see it. That has five foot ramps that are filled with wood and they are freaking heavy. Um, so overall, I'm happy with the trailer. We'll see how it does. Uh, there are two things that um, I question and they could be changed if necessary. Uh, one thing is the bar here on the ramps. Let's see if I can show you. I mean, here's my finger. So this bar is probably the smallest diameter I've ever seen on uh, a ramp system before. Maybe it'll be fine, maybe it won't, I don't know. It is supported in the middle. There is another bracket. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, that's kind of a question mark right now. It may be fine. But one thing I really don't like and would be easy to change is the way these fenders are attached. Um, this isn't even a bolt it doesn't have a nut on the bottom of it it's just threaded down in there so the fenders seemed kind of loose uh yesterday you could kind of see them wobbling a little bit and there's only one here and one here and that's all that holds the fenders on so i mean if you had to take them off it would be easy but uh you can't tighten those down because there's no nut on the bottom i don't know if i can show you guys what it looks like up underneath there but there's no nut on the bottom of them. So I tried snugging them up a little bit yesterday and I couldn't. So that's so simple. All we'd have to do is take that out, drill a hole, put a bolt and a nut in on each side. No big deal. So if it kind of becomes an issue where the fenders seem like they're flopping a little bit, um, really simple, a couple bolts and we'll fix that problem. But uh, overall, I'm happy with it. You can see we got it hooked to the old Ram here and uh, we're gonna be doing a maiden voyage here today. 
with it. Um, but uh, so yeah, the only weird thing, if anybody knows on any trailer, why there is a weird hook thing here, I can't figure that out. So is there one on the other side? Wait a minute. Are you supposed to hook your safety chains there? Wait a minute, here, let's see. Will these reach back here? No, the safety chains don't reach. They're close. Maybe that's what those are for. I don't know. Anyway, big heavy duty jack. So that's the video here for today, guys. Uh, as I always say anymore, something a little bit different, but I was just kind of surprised to see that Kubota had uh, come out with their own line of trailers. So if you happen to see an orange line sticker on a trailer somewhere, you know uh, where it was manufactured, who manufactured it, and you know a little bit more about it now. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Questions, comments down below. Please don't forget to hit the thumbs up, the subscribe, and oh, if you hit that bell icon, you won't miss all my wonderful videos coming up. So it's cold out here. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you all in the next video.